I'll be perfectly I'm honest. Ourselves. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I have uh, we got good video of that deer. Um, I've passed better deer than that this year, but it's closing in on me, and I, I really don't have a lot more time to hunt. And uh, I'm happy with that deer, and I'm happy with the hit I made on him. That was a pretty awesome kill. He fell right out there in the field, and uh, I'm happy. And this is another chapter in the hill of plantation. Does it again? Another chapter in Shamara. <laughs> <laughs> you um folks i i killed a buck for the first time in three years i've been holding out for a big deer i've been holding out for a 125 and i'll be perfectly honest with you this year i'm running out of time and i had little confidence I, I, i'm just going to be honest and upfront. i'm not trying to hide anything here my standards lowered some because of what i've been through the last couple years with equipment failures and uh, bad shots so uh, when I got the opportunity to manage a deer for the Hiller Plantation, I shot my true first management deer. I, it's a nice, it looks like a five point. It's a nice tall rack. I think he's a two year old deer that probably wouldn't have amounted to much more as far as number of points. But we're going to take a look at this thing. Once again, Shamara did it again, and I don't know what that tree stand situation is. We spent an hour and a half getting that tree stand up, and um, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just. It's unreal. That was an ambush situation, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And we got some decent videos. So, uh, let's go over here and see where my arrow ended up. I think I had through 125 Montex. Well, folks, this is uh, this is the devastation of a Predator 2 Carbon Express. 9.8 grains per inch and a uh, 125 Montec. That right, my friends, is a double long situation. And you can't imagine what this does for my confidence in the bow woods. I am pumped about this. We saw this deer go down and uh, there's just a an absolute mess. This, this is dead deer. This is one of those situations where this is what you want to see every time you go to recover an animal. And uh, I couldn't be happier with this. So we're gonna go look at this deer and see what in the world this guy is. Folks, I shot a, uh, what I'm gonna consider a management deer uh, here on the Hiller farm. It's a nice big five point. I think he's two years old. He's got a big body. I'm kinda anxious. I kinda like to get him on some scales. It is, uh, put the old bow over here. Mission Archery uh, made it happen this year. And I'll be perfectly honest. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago in the video, I uh, I wanted to just to get a kill under my belt and a deer like this that I'm feeling is a management kill. I haven't killed a buck since 2006. I killed a 122, 122 inch eight point and I've been on a quest to kill a 125 inch deer. And the last three years, counting this year in the deer woods, has, have been so torturous for me that it has frustrated me to the point where I, uh, I've nearly given up on it, and I, and I don't mean giving up on killing the, the 125, but giving up on my own confidence to be able to do it, and uh, I needed this, this deer. Um, this is a, I'm really happy the way this unfolded, and the video is awesome. I think we got really good video of this deer, so uh, here we are with a rutted up five-pointer, uh, and uh, I took him over the decoy once again, and I got to give a big thanks to Adam and Rich Hiller and Jill once again. I think what did the trick was the fact that we had some Jill Delight for lunch. It seems like every time we have some Jill Delight, uh, coffee, cake, etc., we end up having some luck. So uh, November 14, 2009, I am tagged out with a buck that uh, might not make a lot of hunters happy, but for, for me in the last few years that I've hunted, I, uh, I'll take this deer this year and uh, I'm going to put my tag on him and I'll be honest, I'm wanting some deer meat. So. Uh, Join us again on our next installment of our series, and we'll uh, we'll get some uh, some more kills headed your way in the future.